Put it on the screen. <laughs> Just turning this light on because it's so dark in here. Hi guys, what's happening? Thought I'd go live, it's very late. Sorry guys, I got up late this morning. I had a lie-in till 7.30. My God, I don't know myself. <laughs> hi guys, hi. Um, that's the longest lie-in I've had in probably since I started this account, I started doing the coaching. <laughs> I've been doing the coaching so early in the morning. Oh my god, you're first. Yes, you are, darling. Use the 77777. I always say you're, that's your name, but I don't know your actual name, darling. <laughs> Hi, Kat. Hi. What's happening, guys? I've had a chill morning, kind of. I stayed in my dressing gown for a while. Jumped in the shower quickly before a call. The call went extra long, but it was a lovely call with a lovely girl on Messenger. And guys, if you want to call, just DM me. Hi, Alex. Oh, my God, I haven't got back to your message. I'm so sorry. I haven't got back to all the updates yet. I have been swamped with messages in my messenger. I finally got to them yesterday afternoon, all of them, and in my TikTok, and, but I haven't got yet to the updates. So, Alex, thank you so much for your update, darling. I promise to get back to you today. I have time for once. I actually have a few hours free. Hooray. Hi, Loz. Do you believe in placebos when manifesting? Well, I don't believe they'll do anything, but if they, you believe in them, then they'll work for you. But it's just your belief in the thing, the crystal, the grab a boy number, or whatever these fucking stupid things are people are posting about. Oh, this, I saw one today and I was like, are you joking? And there's like 8,000 views of people going, I'm going to use that number, 888534. The fuck is this shit? So guys, if you believe in that shit, it'll work for you. That's a placebo, but you've got to believe it, that it's working. Otherwise, it won't do shit for you. It's just your mind. So why wouldn't you just use your mind? don't get it. If you need the crystal to feel like it's helping you, then go and do it. Absolutely. If you feel like talking to the water is helping you, fucking do it. But it's not actually not doing anything. It's just your belief in the placebo. Understand? You obviously believe they're placebos. You know that. So just use it if it helps you, darling. Hi, guys. My sister's hen's night. I was manifesting things I really didn't want to. Got some work to do. I was manifesting things I didn't really want to. Got some work to do. Oh, what happened? At your sister's hen's night? Oh, something bad. Oh, cat. Ugh. Oh my god, Loz, my date last night was so amazing, romantic, and so easy. Oh, yay, Alana, yay! Oh, darling, with the new man. How exciting. It's exciting when it's a new man, not the old fucking man with the old story. <laughs> uh, love it. Oh, great, Alex. Oh, you saw my message. Fantastic. Um, Always oh, see you here first. We are quick. Yes. Doesn't mean anything when I don't need to affirm as much. Well, if you feel like you don't need to affirm, and you feel good in yourself, then take a few days off if you really feel you can. But I always affirm anyway, just because I don't trust myself. Oh, it's Cindy. Oh, you're a Cindy too. There's a couple of Cindys. Actually, you might have told me that before, and I've forgotten, because there's a Cinderu, another Cindy, and there's you. All right, Cindy, when I yell at you next time, I'm going to yell at Cindy. <laughs> Hang on, guys. Any more questions? What happened at the Sisters Hens Night, Cat? was not good, was it? Something terrible happened. There's only 23 people here. I seriously have obviously gone on a way too late. How to remain in the state? Neville stated we should go through several states. Well, guys, it's almost impossible to remain in the state all fucking day. If you want to be famous, you're going to remain in the state of fame all day. And then you go to something and you're filling out a form and the person says, and your name is? And you go, and you pull it out of the state straight away. They should know who I am. I'm famous. <laughs> It's almost impossible to remain in the state all day, guys. All you can do is jump back on the horse, go to your living in, in the end scene again in your mind and imagine you are the man or woman you want to be again and again and again and again. So when you drop the state, you feel like, oh, I'm not in the state of wealth anymore because I just reacted to something being too expensive. So now I'm going to jump back in the state of wealth again. You just jump back in it, okay, by using the power of your mind, jumping back into the scene in your mind or a thought in your mind or affirming in your mind, okay, and you can go from state to state. So Neville talks about the several states you could be in. So you go from the state of poverty to wealth. You might go back to poverty and then go back to wealth. Okay? You can move within them. The states remain the same, but you move within them. I've been affirming that my skin has cleared up, and it has. It's the best it's looked for months. Wonderful, Seabos. Oh, wonderful, darling. What were your affirmations? That's fantastic. Good for you. I have to affirm for my lip this morning because something's happened where I... My... I had this red thing on my lip this morning and I was like, oh, that's going to go away. And then when I went on a call, I came back, it's gone. But it was like a blood vessel burst from my, um, I think it was my electric toothbrush got caught on my lip. And I woke up this morning, there was this huge red thing. 
it's gone. That's good. <laughs> uh, we had a fight. Uh, just to revise it, darling. Revise it. Act like it never happened. Act like it never fucking happened. Okay? Pretend. Never happened. Next time you see her, it'll be different. Don't worry about it, darling. Don't let it throw you. Okay? Just revise it. Go back to the scene and change it to what you wish had happened instead. Okay? The old story was coming back through, but it's okay. I'm aware I'm working on it already. Exactly, darling. You know what you're doing. Keep going. Is the new story the same as living in the end? Yes, that's why I want you guys to concentrate on the new story. Because you're living in the end in your mind, you're already together. The new story is you're together. The new story is you're always together. You never broke up. And living in the end in, is in the story. It's what your end is. We are blissfully, happily married, etc. Oh, thanks, Kat. So that is the end, the story. Okay? It's the old story that throws you. You're trying to live in this one and the old one keeps coming back. That's when it becomes problematic. That's when it slows things down. That's what happened to me the other day. Okay, old story stuff came up for me and it really affected me because I thought I got rid of a lot of it and I hadn't. And I was like, eh, this old shit. Okay, so that's when you concentrate on the new story because that is your living in the end scene in the story. Okay, or what you want to have happened in the future. Um, 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 um. When the desire becomes natural, that's when it manifests. How to make it natural. Um... Yeah and no. <laughs> I don't agree on putting caveats on things. Like it's got to feel natural before it can manifest because if I don't fucking feel natural about it, it's not going to happen. You can believe that, darling, and that will happen for you. So until you feel it real, until it feels natural to you, nothing will fucking manifest. I don't believe that shit. I just believe that if I say it enough, it'll manifest. If I live in the end in my mind enough, I don't even have to believe it or feel it real or feel it natural and it will still manifest. You've put that caveat on the fact that it needs to feel natural from something maybe Neville said, okay? The state of feeling like a state of naturalness, okay? But that's really just living in your mind like, oh, yeah, that's right. That's who I am now. That's probably the feeling of naturalness, okay? But it's not required. Don't give yourself that requirement. Then you won't be able to manifest anything. My hair looks nice. Oh, it does it? God, I haven't even brushed it, but thank you. Um, Neville specifically said when the desire is accepted by the subconscious and natural, then it manifests. Well, Alima, what the fuck are you doing watching me? If you want to just regurgitate Neville, go and fucking read Neville. I know that, darling, but we're not all Neville and we can't all feel it natural all fucking day and we can't all live in the state all day. Neville was a consummate manifester who could live in the state all fucking day, never be thrown and never have a negative thought and never go into the old story. Is that you? Good luck with that. Most people on here can't fucking do that. That's why I'm saying you don't have to give it the caveat of it's natural. How do you know when your subconscious has accepted it? How the fuck do you know it's subconscious? You can't possibly know when your subconscious has accepted it. You can't. It's subconscious. So you can feel a feeling of relief. You can feel a feeling of it's natural. You can feel a feeling of, yes, that's me. I'm that person. But you can't control your subconscious of when it accepts it. Okay, so stick to Neville 100% if you really want to, but good luck with that, getting everything feeling natural. Because you're, what you'll do is you'll literally not be able to manifest things until it feels natural, and all of us will be able to manifest before then. Do you want to do that? I wouldn't do that if I were you. Neville could do that very easily because he was like a Zen manifester. I know what you're saying, but I'm just saying don't put your... Don't put caveats on things. Don't you might you make the rules, darling. You make the fucking rules. This crystal works for me. This grab a boy number works for me. When I feel natural, it works for me. When I don't feel natural, it doesn't. You make the rules because your mind is listening. Stop saying that. I'm asking because I'm curious to know about your thoughts on it. Yes, I know, darling, but I don't stick to the rules that other people say with manifesting because then sometimes it fucks you up because you think, oh, but Neville said this. And Florence Gobelshin said this, and then I read that thing, and Sammy said this, and some other person said this, and this person said, and I'm like, fuck, it's too exhausting. I just know what I know, which is I believe what I believe, and I make the rules. Don't try and stick too much to, oh, this is what works, this doesn't work, this, I believe this or that doesn't work, because then you're making rules up that don't fucking exist. You're just making them up in your mind, darling. See what I'm saying? But I know what you're saying. How can we let go of the old story? Rewrite it, darling. You can't just let go of it and pretend it never fucking happened and Keep ignoring it in your mind. Ignore it, ignore it, ignore it. Oh, mind, stop thinking about it. Oh, stop thinking about it. Your mind will go, well, give me something else to think about then. I need to replace it. I can't just stop. You need to write the new story. Imagine the new story. Live in the end of the new story. You can't just live in a vacuum. 
You can't just stop thought. It won't stop. That's why people go, you need an empty mind. What the fuck? It's ridiculous. No one has an empty mind. You can go on a meditation retreat. You won't have a fucking empty mind. Let me give you the tip. You're just changing your thoughts while you're at the meditation retreat. You understand? So you've got to replace it with a new story, darling. Focus on the new story. Focus on the new story only. When the old story comes up, focus on the new story. Go back to the new story and back to it and back to it and back to it and back to it until it feels natural. <laughs> okay? Laws, working on self-concept and total strangers are saying hello and complimenting my hair and clothes. Oh, wonderful, angel girl. Oh, so nice when they do that, isn't it? Well done. Yes, just read it at night. I read my new story. Actually, I don't. I should do that. I tell everyone else to. I fucking need to do that, don't I? No wonder the old story hasn't gone away. I keep telling you guys all this stuff to do, and I'm not fucking doing it. Make your own rules. Yes, darling. Yes, Sharona. Rewrite it every day. No. Why are you rewriting it? That's a waste of fucking energy. You'll hurt your hand. You've written it once. Hooray. Read it. When you go... When... when that chick's re writing Harry Potter, when she goes to read it, the draft, does she just write it again? You've written it. Read it. You wrote a book. You don't rewrite it every night to go through the draft of it. You just read it. <laughs> and you change little bits. Okay? You don't have to rewrite it, guys. There's a whole lot of fucking idiots on here telling you to write a whole lot of shit all night. Oh, sit down and write your affirmations. Write in a journal. Script, script, script. What the fuck is that doing other than hurting your hand? You want to concentrate on the new story. You've already written it. Concentrate on that. And get on with your day. Affirming. I don't want you to be thinking about rewriting, guys. The writing doesn't do shit. It's the imagining while you're reading it. It's the thinking while you're reading it. Not the writing. Not the writing. I keep saying to you guys, it's not the writing that does anything. Writing doesn't do anything. Laws, my SP kissed me yesterday for the first time. All thanks to your affirmations work so well. Oh, wonderful, darling. Oh, that's a lovely story. Oh, what were you affirming? That's so nice. How gorgeous. I love those stories. Um, 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 um. I feel so much better after doing the self-concept affirmations you gave me. Oh, wonderful, Vicky. Yes. Guys, self-concept is the shit. It will make you feel so much better. And sometimes I'm giving people real long, extensive things, but it's because it's getting to the core of your shit. I'm really annoyed at the amount of people who are telling me, not the people, but I had a call this morning with someone who went to all these manifestation coaches, never asked her about childhood, nothing. I'm amazed by this, guys, that you've gone to other coaches and no one's ever given you specific affirmations. What are they giving it, your affirmations based on self-concept stuff? They're just giving you random shit. Here you go. I've always been chosen and wanted. Well, if you've got no abandonment issues or you don't feel unloved, what the fuck's that going to do for you? It's like giving a fat person, a, a thin person affirmation saying, all my fat is melting away. I am wondrously thin. The person will go, I already am. What the fuck? So if you're going to a manifestation coach and they're just giving you stock standard self-concept affirmations, please ask for your money back. It should be based on your core stuff. If it's not based on your core stuff, it's going to do jack shit. Might make you feel, oh, I'm a queen, I'm treated like a queen. Yeah, okay, they'll make you feel a bit better. I'm loved. Yeah, make you feel a bit better, but it's not getting at the core of your childhood shit, which is the cause of the problems. It's astounding to me. And some of these manifestation coaches are psychs. What are they doing? Yes, just read it at night. Yep, Loz. Well, yeah, oh, wonderful. I saw that one. I'm scrolling up. Scrolling up. Any more questions, guys? Please put them in. Um, 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 um. Revising my story. Can't tell if I should include the past four years or just write about it when we met. Well, it's up to you, darling. You make the rules, okay? So if you want to include the last four years, make the last four years fantastic. Don't put the shit in there. If you're rewriting it, make the last four years what you wish they were. Change it completely to what you wish it was. And if you can't do that, guys, if you have trouble rewriting the story completely like the Disney version that I ask you to do on the calls, then you can change it to like this breakup, um, then, you know, happened and then we got back together and it was wonderful and every problem we had went away. You can do that if you want. If you can't find, if you find the new story, the Disney version, the version you want to be so hard to believe in your mind that your brain just fights it and fights it and fights it and fights it, you can kind of go... Um, we had this breakup, then we got back together and everything's been wonderful ever since and he does this for me and he's this for me and he's the new version. You can do that if you want, but I like to revise the whole thing, but it's up to you guys. I did say that in the, the other day on a live, that if that suits you better, do that. If the last four years for you are too hard to rewrite, put in some of the things, but then change it to what you wish it is now or how he is now. 
how they are now, okay? Um, any questions, guys? I'm scrolling up because they're all at the top again. If you have a negative thought, should you immediately replace it with affirmations? Yes, if you can, darling. J.M. Callan, if you can. Jump in with your new affirmations all the time. I want you guys to do that. I don't want you to be sitting there dwelling in your negativity all day. It doesn't help you. Completely unbothered with the old original SP. I was manifesting. I found a better one. Ha, ha, ha. Wonderful, Lana. Love it when that happens. That happened to me. Yep. That's awesome. Inspiring. I bet you he'll come back though, Lana. You'll see. Just watch. I'm nat I'm, I naturally stopped doing SP affirmations and more self-concept and he just appeared. Oh, lovely, darling. I love that. Self-concept is the key, guys. It's all about you. I manifested my love and thought of all the right things, but I was still rejected by my ex fiance Well, darling, only you decide that you're rejected. Okay? Only you decide that you got rejected. Rejection only happens when you decide it's rejection. Somebody could go to an audition, audition for the part. They go, oh, sorry, we've taken someone else. And they go, okay, thanks, bye. And they're not the least bit rejected. Someone else goes in there. They say, oh, we haven't chosen you. And they're like, oh, my God, <laughs> my life's over. I didn't get the part. Which one are you? Don't choose to believe that she's rejected you, okay? You thought of all the right things, but darling, she's still turning up as the old version of your fiancé. Have you got rid of the old version, the old thoughts about her? Have you got rid of that shit yet? The 3D is delayed, so I know you've been doing the affirmations, and that's wonderful, but you've got to remember that when they show up in your reality, it's based on your old thinking about them, the old version of them. It takes them a while to change. They don't change straight away as soon as you start doing affirmations, okay? They'll change eventually. In a couple of months, she might start coming around. In a couple of weeks, you don't know how long it's going to take. But the sooner you change your mind that she is now the person you want her to be and you've got rid of the old story of her, the old version of her, the quicker it will change and she will be back. But you need to get rid of that rejection story, revise what happened, go back to the scene of her rejecting you, change that completely. You didn't get rejected. She said something else like, I just need to go and work on myself for a while. And you go, okay, babe, I understand. And now she's gone and working on herself and you're working on you and you're building up that self-concept and you know she's going to be back because in your mind you're already together. Make sense? Get rid of that rejection story and revise it, darling, as if it never fucking happened and, and keep affirming. Okay, have some faith in yourself. Um, any more questions, guys? I was worrying and sad a lot today, but I told the 3D to tell my worry to fuck off. I feel better. Wonderful, Garrett. Wonderful. Guys, look, you have human days where you feel worried. You have human days where you're sad. Let it out. Have a big cry. Scream in a tree. Jump back on the horse. I did that two days the other day. I cried so much I was worried the neighbours might come and check on me and check I wasn't killing someone in here. After writing the new story, will our SP think of the old story, think of the old story in the same way or is that what is going to happen? No, guys, when you rewrite the old story, they change to the new story. They change to the new version. It's like the old story never happened. When you revise it, that's why I'm saying to you, write it anew as if none of that shit ever happened. What you're actually doing is revising the past, which what Neville said is the key to all manifesting. If you don't do anything else, just revise. But that means you have to revise every fucking thing you do. I'd rather affirm. Okay? But what he's saying is it's just a memory. So if you change the memory of it, literally it changes the future. Okay? So when you write the new story and they turn up as the new version, that old story is gone because how can that old story exist if the new them's here? How can that old story exist if the new story is going on? It's kind of how it works. Kind of writing it and focusing on the new story is revision in itself. My manifestations are hit or miss, never consistent. Well, that's because you say they are, darling. You make the rules. Stop saying that. Some of my manifestations work. Some of them don't. Say all my manifestations work. I'm a master manifester. doesn't matter what I do. I can't fuck this up. Start saying that, darling. Start stepping into the state that nothing fucks up for you, that everything works that you can't fail at this. Mm -hmm. I manifested a Kim Kardashian perfume, lol. Did you? How many has she got now? I've never actually ever seen one in a shop. I like that one that's the body, that stone body one, whatever that is, KKW beauty one. I think all her design, like all her, um, her team of like design people are really good. Um, it's all Kanye though, isn't it really? <laughs> Writing is imagination. It creates images as you write. Yes, it does. But if you're rewriting it every night, it's unnecessary. I'm saying read it again. You don't need to rewrite it and rewrite it and rewrite it and rewrite it. It's also completely fucking useless to write down 
an affirmation, an affirmation, an affirmation like Bart Simpson on the chalkboard, that does fuck all. So doing 369 and 55 by 5 doesn't work a lot of the time because you're thinking other things while you're writing it. You're not imagining anything. You're imagining, what am I going to have for dinner? My foot's hurting. God, I need to pee. Wow, my hand's starting to hurt. you got to think it. Thinking is more important than writing, I'm sorry. But write all you like, darling. But maybe that's why your manifestations are hit and miss because you're too busy fucking writing and not and not changing your subconscious mind enough. That's what you need to do. Partner seeing my manifestations happen and he started affirming for me because he wants to help. Yay! Oh, darling, really? He's getting into it. He's seeing your manifestation happen and he's trying affirming for me because he wants to help. Wonderful! It's really good when they start getting into it, isn't it? And they, they ask you questions, so well, what do I do again? <laughs> Good for you, darling. Good for him. Um, if I'm just affirming 24-7 about my SP being black and we are in a better relationship, will that work? Or being back? <laughs> being black. <laughs> being back, I think you mean. If I'm just affirming 24-7 about my SP and we're in a better relationship, will that work? James, you haven't watched me before, have you? Or have you? No, that won't fucking work, darling. You have to change you to change them. Why are you concentrating on him 24-7, that's fucking ridiculous. Not only is that obsessive and putting all the focus on them, which won't work, you have to change you to change them. There is no one to change but self. You are the cause. You are the only cause. Your subconscious habitual thinking caused the situation. You have to change that. You're not going to do anything by constantly thinking about him all fucking day. Some idiot manifestation coach told you that, haven't they? And they're a moron. And guess what? It's not working because you're focusing on him. And when you focus on them, they focus on themselves. Got to focus on you. Change you. When you focus on you, they focus on you. Please stop doing 24-7 affirmations about your SP, guys. That's why so many of you aren't getting your SPs back. When you've gone to other manifestation coaches that are giving you all these fucking SP affirmations, you've been sitting there 24-7 like a moron, going, oh, John loves me so much, we're so happily married, and you haven't done anything to change you, which is the problem. Please don't do that, darling. Do only 20% of the day about him, 30% max. Rest of the time, you won't be changing you, doing self-concept affirmations. I am lovable. All men love me. When I walk in a room, everyone takes notice. I am adored. I am claimed. I am always claimed and adored. Do those. They're general and everyone will fucking start doing it, including him. Work on your core childhood shit. What's the stuff that caused the arguments in the first place that caused the breakup? Caused them to go off and go with a third party. That's your childhood stuff. You've got to get to the core of that. Change it with self-concept affirmations. Changing them does fuck all. You can't change them. You're only changing you. Then they change. They're reacting to your new changes in you. Your new thoughts about yourself. Your new thoughts about them. You're not changing them. If you're listening to any manifestation coaches say, change your SP, they're a fucking idiot. You can't change other people, guys. All you can change is their perception of you, their reaction to you. They are reflecting you. You aren't changing them. God damn it. I'm not getting annoyed at you, darling. It's because you've been taught the wrong thing. Okay? Stop doing that. Any questions, guys? Seeing the new version of her? If you're getting all this other attention from other girls, and trust me, it's because you haven't got rid of the old story about her and you. You haven't got rid of the old story about the breakup. Have you done that? That's when they won't come back because you're still seeing them as the old version. You're still concentrating on the breakup. You're still ruminating about the breakup. You're still talking about the breakup. You're still living in the end in the breakup. You've got to live in the end in your mind. You're already together. You never broke up. No old story. Write the old story of what happened. Burn that fucking thing. Write the new story of what you want to have happened. You've never broken up. Concentrate on that. Focus on that. Plus your self-concept. Got it? That's why you're getting other girls, because you've worked on your self-concept, but you haven't got rid of the old story about your ex. How long should it take once you've seriously knuckled down, like the max amount of time? Alexi Babby, are you fucking serious? You've been here so many videos. You've been here for so many lives, and you're seriously actually asking me, what's the max amount of time? How the fuck do I know, darling? Am I in your subconscious mind? You've heard me answering questions about time multiple times, I know, because you've been on many lives. And you're still asking, what if I seriously knuckle down? Well, fucking do it then. And then you tell me. Because I can't tell you guys. I'm not in your subconscious mind. No one knows how long it will take. It has its own appointed hour. Its own appointed hour. It's not mine. Not yours. Not someone else's. No one could possibly tell you how long it's going to take. And if they do, they're lying to you. Guys, it takes as long as it takes for you to convince your subconscious mind that it's true. Have you convinced your subconscious mind that it's true? Well, if you haven't, it will fucking take ages. I'm annoyed at that because you've been here so long and you're still asking silly questions about time when you should know. You should be concentrating on you are with them already. 
You live in the end and it takes as long as it fucking takes. That means you're looking at the 3D. Oh, it's not here yet. Why isn't it here? Why doesn't he love me? Where is he? You're not living in your mind at all. You haven't done the thing I've asked. Mm -hmm. Which means it won't come. So good luck with that. Stop talking and worrying about the time. You're literally telling your subconscious, it's not here yet. Oh, why isn't it here? How long is this going to take? What's the max amount of time this is going to take? And your subconscious goes, Alexi, hang on, fuck, I thought we were married to this guy. What now? We've got to wonder how long it's going to take to get married and how much long the max amount of time is to get married? I thought we were married. Oh, fuck, I'm confused. I give up. That's what happens. Oh, thanks. Who sent me that? I didn't even see who sent me the, med the flowers. How do I drop an obsession? I worry SP won't tell. What does that mean? Won't what? We'll drop the obsession by fucking focusing on you, darling. Stop focusing on them. When you focus on them, they focus on them. When you focus on you, they focus on you. If you're feeling obsessive, guys, stop doing so many fucking SP affirmations. Start affirming for yourself and your self-concept. Loz, can see all the questions. Keep affirming, guys. Yes, I can <laughs> I can see all the questions. Been manifesting and I've created massive changes in my life. Be ready for change. Yes, Millisactor. Well done, darling. Hooray. Good for you. Uh, yes. I'm in shock. What are you in shock about, Dancer? Can you add to the new story if there's something you forgot to put in? Absolutely. Add to it whenever you like. So it's okay if I do affirmations throughout the day for that new story I want? Yes, James. But don't concentrate too much on them. Concentrate on changing your subconcept. It's about you, not them. But yes, change the new story as much as you can. If that's helping you, do it. I have affirmed and manifest so much. A new job, the, the shop being my name, a free, a free eating healing course. Have you, Ellie? Oh, wonderful. A free eating healing course. What's that? That sounds amazing. Okay, true. My insecurity is getting the best of me. Not anymore. Yes. Stop that. What's a booster? I have no fucking idea. Look at you go. Yes, Ellie. Look at you go. I've been working on my self-concept. I feel so good. My SP is already mine. I'm living in the end. Yes, super mum. Love it. Do it before bed and sleep into the state. Try to keep a mental diet during the day. Yes, the mental diet during the day of the new story is a great idea. That's the thing. You've got to keep going back to the new story. No, no, no. He loves me and only me. He wants me and only me. We're blissfully happily married. You've got to jump in with your affirmations that, that conjure up the thoughts of that new story. Then you're going back to the new, new story throughout the day when the old story pops in your mind, James, okay? Have affirmations there that are for the new story. I may get results tomorrow. I'm excited for good news. Oh, wonderful, Jasmine. Yay. Oh, God, I saw a message in the TikTok and it's all the way down the bottom and I haven't answered it. Sorry, darling. I haven't got to any updates in the last couple of days. I'm so sorry. That sounds amazing, darling. You're getting results tomorrow, tomorrow and I know it's going to be good news. It's going to be good news and only good news. Mm -hmm. Firm for that, darling. Well done. What if you can't visualize? It doesn't matter. Some people can't. You can imagine a smell. Imagine touch, imagine hearing someone telling you something or don't do any of those things and just affirm, 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 affirm. You live in the end by saying, I am, I am that already. Okay, so don't worry about visualizing if you can't. Just see my SP TikTok page, just see new girl was going well until I saw that. Well, what the fuck are you looking at it for? What the fuck are you looking at it for? Guys, you've got to stop looking at this social media. It will throw you every time. Stop looking at it. It will trigger you. Jump back in your mind that you're together with her and forget all about it. I sighed at myself as soon as I sent it. <laughs> oh, thanks for the flowers, Charlie14. It was you. Why do I keep attracting third parties? I've been working on my self-concept and it happened again because you keep imagining third parties thinking you're not good enough. Is it you're imagining cheating? You're imagining third parties? You're imagining other girls? Or are you thinking, I'm not good enough? He doesn't love me. He will never love me. We're never going to get back together. I'm this, I'm that. Is it stuff about you or stuff about women or men in general? Like fears. Okay? Figure that out. Um, 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 um. do you do email coaching no I don't darling because it's a complete fucking waste of time because I need to sit down with you and analyze anyone who's been on a one-to-one -one call with you will tell me I sit there and analyze your childhood with you for most of the call and your subconscious beliefs and I can't do that over an email it's not intensive enough it's not extensive enough I hate writing <laughs> I'd rather talk so I don't do that but if you can't afford the email coaching, you can pay, sorry, the email coaching, the video coaching, you can pay in two payments and then have the um, call after the second payment. Or I am going to try and start doing Zoom calls with about seven to 12 people, group co coaching, okay, which won't be as private, but will be cheaper, okay, darling? But email coaching, I don't believe in it. I've had too many people 
I've had probably about 30 or 40 people come to me from other coaches who did email coaching. It didn't work because it doesn't actually really work sometimes because they're just giving, they're going copy and paste affirmations and they're sticking them in the email for you and going, here you go, and then they're all discovering everyone's got the same fucking affirmations. It's not, it's not personalized enough. It's not specific enough. Same, Garrett, same. What's, what's same, Ronnie girl? What's happened? I have trouble doing scenes and visualization, but I find the affirmations are easier. Yes, so just do those. Don't worry about visualizing, guys, if you can't. What's Garrett saying? Hang on. Imagination is any of your five senses. Doesn't have to be visualization. Absolutely. Okay, that makes perfect sense now. I was a bit confused about the revising. Okay. Been taking your advice and makes my day better. Oh, wonderful, Ronnie girl. Yay. Lost one day my self-concept is on point and the next, what? Next it's not? Don't worry about it. Jump back on the horse. Guys, it's not a constant. You're fighting your subconscious mind's habitual thinking. It's going to jump in with that old shit every time. It's going to say, hey, bitch, no, you're fat. No, you're not enough. No, you weren't loved by your parents. Remember when they said this to you and that to you? Blah, 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 blah. It goes all fucking day. You have to fight it. So one day you'll feel good. The next day you're not on top of your self-concept and your old thoughts pop in. It's trying to get back to the set point of what it's always known. It doesn't like that you're trying to change it. It knows what it knows and it's sticking to it. It's stubborn as fuck. That's what happens. Um, why do I keep attracting their birdies? I saw that one. Where are you? I'm in Perth. You might like the Gautier perfume then, Loz. Oh, yay, that's a little bottle, isn't it? I remember someone bought that for me. Or was it Versace? Oh, no, someone bought Versace for me when I was a kid. Can I have a shout-out? What do you mean, darling? Um, 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 any more questions, guys? I'm scrolling down the bottom. So, guys, if you don't follow me already, please do follow me at Manifest Live with Loz and... Please do go to the Facebook group, Manifest Space, Live Space with Space Loz. You have to put the spaces in between if you're searching for it on Facebook or click the link in my TikTok bio. All these lives are saved in there. I'll be adding some more today. And it's a lovely supportive community of over 600 people in there now, guys, all helping each other. It's lovely and supportive and very, very nice and positive. And please do DM me for one-to-one -one coaching through Facebook, in the Messenger, or through TikTok. You're so right. Thank you. Okay. Have you ever manifested an SP? Yes, darling. Um, how do I get back on track after seeing that? Well, darling, stop looking at it. Revise it. Pretend it never fucking happened. Pretend you looked at the picture and it was you and her. Okay? Revise it. Act like that never fucking happened. And then get back on your self-concept. Get back on your SP affirmations. Forget you ever saw it. Yeah, my visuals aren't very detailed. Is that okay? Doesn't matter, guys. Affirm more if your visualization isn't working for you. Can you give me an affirmation about weight loss? Because I keep what? Pink sugar. Keep what? Um, yes, weight loss. I love my slim figure. I love my tiny waist. I love how thin I am. Start saying those ones down if you want to lose the weight. Please, Loz, talk about talking to them through the mirror. Talking to them through the mirror. Well, you're talking to yourself in the mirror. But you can talk to other people, I guess, through the mirror. But I would just talk to other people as if they're with you or in you. Oh, baby, I love you so much. You miss me when I'm away, don't you? Oh, yeah, baby, I miss you. I miss being away from you when you're away. Okay, you can talk to them like that. Or lying in bed next to them, whisper in their ear. Okay, but talk to yourself in the mirror. Mirror works fantastic. You're talking to, into your own eyeballs, looking at yourself, affirming about yourself. Is that what you mean, darling? Do you trust tarot readings? No, darling, it's literally just your thoughts manifest. So your habitual subconscious thinking gets to reflected to the tarot reader and you just believe it more because it's a tarot reader. They're just doing what everyone else does in life. It's just tarot. And they're interpreting cards based on what they know about the card. If they're talking to spirit, yes. But how do you know if they're talking to spirit or not? They're just reflecting your thoughts, darling. Questions don't show up immediately for some reason. They lag. I oh, know it's so annoying. Let's affirm that they do show up immediately. Is it true tomorrow is the best day to manifest? Who the fuck told you that? Tomorrow is the best day to manifest. Well, then you'll never fucking do it. You'll always be putting it off, putting it off, putting it off, and then you'll never do it. Well, that doesn't make any sense. I'll do it tomorrow. Then the next day, it's tomorrow. It's, it's today, so I'll do it the next day. Then you never manifest anything. <laughs> doesn't make any sense. Have you ever manifested? Oh, I saw that one. You're so right. Any more questions, guys? <laughs> Healing my relationship with food. Oh, wonderful, Ellie. Good on you, darling. Oh, that's wonderful. Yes, do that. Pick one scene that's the end desire and repeat it in a sleepy state. Yes, you don't have to be actually asleep, guys, or even in a sleepy state. You can just visualize, but Neville talks about the state akin to sleep, like sleep sets, it's called. And if you're in that drowsy state, it might help you drift off into the visualization or you kind of are naturally in it when you're waking up and when you're going to sleep. 
you're naturally in that drowsy state anyway, which is helpful for visualizing. Okay, guys, that's why I say it. Do it in the morning and do it at night. That's it. I'm scheduling a session. <laughs> yes, ma'am, ma'am. What? What do you mean that's it? What happened? <laughs> the course was 188 pounds. I couldn't afford it. And then she texted me saying she wanted to offer it to me. Oh, wonderful, Ellie. And you got it for free. And it was 188 pounds. Oh, amazing. Wonderful. Just seen my SP dogs TikTok. Oh, okay. It was the dogs TikTok. Okay. Well, darling, stop looking at all that shit. Yes, stop looking at it. I made that mistake. Yes, guys, please don't look at this social media. I remember doing that once with my SP and we just got back together and there was this girl all over him on this photo and I freaked. It was nothing. And, like, when he rang me, like, five minutes later after I screamed at the phone, you want me and only me? I was looking at, no, I was like screaming at the picture. And then he rang me within five minutes and was like, oh, there was this girl all over me last night. God, she was painful. She, looked, she had a face like the Joker. She had this Joker smile. She, fuck, she was so annoying. And I was like, oh, what girl? Acting like I'd never seen it. And then he was like, oh, she was so painful. She was weird. She kept trying to put her finger up my nose. And, oh, God, she was awful. And I was like, oh, right. <laughs> Acting like I'd never seen it. Turned out he couldn't stand her. Right? But I read into all kinds of shit when I saw it. Don't look at it, guys. Do I keep opening the oven while your cake... Do you, don't keep opening the oven while your cake is baking. Yes, darling, that's a great analogy. Don't keep opening the oven while your cake is baking. Looking at the social media is opening the oven. Okay? Going back into the 3D and checking where is it is opening the oven. And it will be slower and slower and slower and slower and you let all the hot air out and that cake will never fucking bake. Your manifestation will be slower and the time will take longer. Stop opening the oven while you're baking the cake. That's brilliant. I'm going to use that one. Shalulu pineapple. Don't keep opening the oven while your cake is baking. I love it. Don't keep opening the oven while your cake is baking. You're baking the cake. You put the buns in the oven, leave them in there and let them fucking bake. It takes as long as it takes to bake. It's so good to visualise with in, uh, with us in our new house. Oh, yay! Are you, darling? Oh, good on you. Thoughts on Kimberley's? Look, she's a good coach, but she reacts too much to criticism. She even did it today. I saw a video because I had some time this morning. I flicked on one of her latest videos and she even criticised someone who said, oh, if you're new and you're criticising me for swearing too much, well, don't watch the videos. I swear. And I thought, why are you even saying that, Kim? She's got a real thing about criticism. It's fucking bizarre. And she jumps down people's throats. She did it to me in a coaching, um, in a um, group once. She's got this real thing with criticism. It's like Sammy Ingram about her body. They've both got these two things that niggle at them and they react. Mine is probably people asking me, how long does it take? And I react to that. Okay. But their personal shit gets triggered and she's a psych and she's not realizing that she has a thing about criticism. It's very funny. But anyway, I like her stuff. She's a great coach, but she just doesn't know her own shit, which bothers me. And I've had a lot of people coming from her. I shouldn't say that, but I've had a lot of people have coaching with her who have now had coaching with me. And I think she's a psych. She should have got to their core childhood shit and she didn't even ask them about their childhood, which astounds me. But her videos are really good. Um, 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 sorry, I saw, oh, I saw Kat give me a present. Thank you, Kat. Um, what should I do now I've seen that? Well, Groot is awesome. Revise it. Pretend you never looked at the social media or if you did, you picked up your phone and you decided, oh, I put it down, I'm not going to look. Or you picked up your phone and saw a picture of the two of you. Oh, she loves me so much. Oh, her and me and the dog. Oh, she loves putting me on the Instagram because she loves me so much. Change it. Revise it. Mm -hmm. I watched a video about the woman who won tons of contests. She lived in the end from the start. Yes, her name is Helen Hadsell, and I think I think the book is called Name It and Claim It. She won every single competition she ever entered in her whole life. I must go and find that book and read it. Sounds amazing. Because it's the same for everything. She's manifesting that. She's living in the state of winner. We should all be living in the state of winner. We win at all our manifestations. That would be a really good book to read. I'm going to go find it. I'll read it for you guys and do a video about it. Yes, that Zoom would be awesome. Yes, guys, I will set up the Zoom. I have done two recent client calls on Zoom, so I'm getting used to using it, but I've never used it before. So I just want to get used to um, the machinations of how to set up a group thing. What do I do? How do I mute people? How do I get people to talk? I don't even understand how to use it. I'll watch a few tutorials, and I'll try and set one up soon in the Facebook group. So join the Facebook group, guys, and then I can set it up through there, and you'll know about it. 
How is your coaching much more effective than these other people, please? Well, I don't know if it is. All I know is that I'm getting to the core of your self-concept stuff more than other people, I think, because I'm asking you more questions about your childhood. I'm asking you about your triggers. I'm asking you about your subconscious stuff. And a lot of coaches aren't doing that, which really disturbs me. Some are, but a lot of people coming to me aren't. And they're concentrating too much on SP affirmations and on the specific person and not on changing you. And as Neville says, there's no one to change but self. Everyone's just a mirror. Don't get angry at them. They're just reflecting your subconscious thinking. Don't change the mirror, change the face. So if you have to change the face, you have to get to the core of your shit. And then I give you specific affirmations and a specific plan of action based on your core stuff. And everyone's stuff is different. You can't just get a whole lot of SP affirmations, a whole lot of self-concept affirmations that everyone else got. It won't be specific to you. That's why. But I've only been coaching a couple of weeks, so I don't know. <laughs> get back to me in a year. I'll let you know how successful it's been. <laughs> I love my one-to-one, -one, but I'd love a Zoom too. Oh, wonderful, Super Mom. Yes, you can have top-ups with the Zoom then and you don't have to have another call. I might try and do like a Zoom every couple of weeks for like American time zone and then a Zoom every couple of weeks for um, UK and Europe time zone. Australia can fit into both of those and the rest of the world can fit into that, Asia, etc. because at different times of the day. Okay, I'll just have to figure out how to do it. I just don't know how to. Specific, I need him to call me after work, so, question mark, what the fuck's that mean? I need him to call me after work. What, you want an affirmation specifically for him to call you? I can't do that, darling. Are you a master manifester? You can make people call you at the exact time that you want? Most people can't do that. I would just affirm he's constantly blowing up your phone. He's constantly calling, texting you. When he doesn't talk to you and see you, he doesn't feel right. Those kind of things. And then imagine him calling you, darling. Imagine a phone call from him. Imagine his face popping up on your phone if you have the face there. Okay, do that, but I can't give you a specific affirmation for that. Just say, whatever it is, he calls me by this time. If you really think you can do that, go ahead. Um, make that an affirmation. My visuals to tune scenario feels like a memory. What does that mean, darling? I don't understand it, Hannah. My visuals tune scenario feels like a memory. don't understand what tune means. You motivate me so much. Oh, you're welcome, Habs girl. Pick one scene. Yes, yes, yes. I saw that. Uh, any more questions, guys? Oh, I've just pressed a filter by accident. Any more questions? Can't see any. All right, guys. So please, if you don't follow me, I go live twice daily around this time, probably earlier, most nights, uh, US time, and early in the mornings, uh, not early mornings, but morning and kind of noon time, um, UK time. Okay, Europe time. Thanks, Amsterdam. And please do follow me at Manifest Live with Loz, um, the Facebook group. You can go in there, ask questions, watch these lives back. And if you want one-to-one -one coaching, DM me through the messenger there or through my TikTok and send me a DM. Thanks, Sandy. Thanks so much, guys. Thanks for joining me. I'll see you later.